Real Salt Lake finishing up their last training here at America's First Field before departing for Sporting Kansas City, coming off the backside last weekend of a 1-0 win on the road in San Jose. The three points giving Real Salt Lake eight points so far in the season, one of two remaining undefeated teams in Major League Soccer. We saw what we're capable of and where we can still get better at, and that kind of gave us a, a breath of fresh air. I told the guys before practice today what I really enjoyed most out of that was the guys in, uh, afterwards were saying that they had fun. And if they're having fun uh, and, and working that hard for each other, uh, we're going we're gonna to have a real good year. The last game that we played in San Jose, as a team, we played really well. So I'm really happy about that because uh, this new formation, you know, we, we start to, to figure out the little things. We play better every game. Um, and yeah, I'm happy for, for everything. I'm a happy man right now. <laughs> we're a group that's been together for a while, so we know that we're not there yet but we're also getting results. And when you're grinding out results like we have, and, and we also know that we're, we could be a lot better. Um, so the confidence isn't too high, but going into this weekend, I, I think the, the training was, was excellent. I thought uh, the mentality was, was great, and, and uh, the focus is, is where it needs to be. The last two times these two teams have met, Real Salt Lake and Sporting Kansas City have ended in a 0-0 draw. And you go back to the heartbreak of the MLS Cup final 1-1 at Sporting Park and the loss in penalty kicks. We've had some really good games against Kansas City, whether it's in the season or postseason or preseason. <laughs> you know, they seem to always be heated, and I see no reason why it's going to be any difference this weekend. We want to go there to play a good game and, and try to win the game. But what happened in the past is over, so we have to keep going forward and try to focus in, in just in the game. We've had so many close matchups with them in the past. Obviously, that game is extremely meaningful, but the fact is it's in the past you know they're in the west now and they're an opponent we're going to be fighting with for a playoff spot so we have to approach it that way and think about that for sporting kansas city they're coming off a dramatic 3-2 win at home against the philadelphia union with two stoppage time goals to give peter vermes and company the full three points at sporting park good enough to put them level on points with real salt lake in the western conference standings it's a peter vermes team they're very organized uh hard working <laughs> They're at home, so they're going to come out aggressive. We have to make sure, just like we did in San Jose, that we not just match our intensity, but try to beat that and then take take control of the game with possession. But they're coming off a good result at home where they scored two, two goals in extra time. So they're feeling good about themselves, but we're feeling good about ourselves as well. It's just another game for us. You know, I think... Uh in the locker room, we know, um, you know the, time, the type of team uh, Kansas City is. It's no uh, secret to the fans and, and the players and, and the coaches how big this game is because of the history we've had as a team. And um, always good games, good battles, lots of kicking. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll come out on the, on the right side. They've got a lot of dangerous attacking pieces. Obviously, on set pieces, they're dangerous. And with this garbage long throw in that they do, it's dangerous. But, you know... They've got a lot of good attacking players that move around. And they know how to press very well at home, and so that makes it tough for teams to go in there and control the game or have a grasp of the game. So we'll have to be good with the ball and be conscious of, uh, of, of their movement. You can catch the game Saturday, 6 o'clock pregame show on KMYU with a 6.30 Mountain Time kickoff.